So here's what's going on right now. Uh, this weekend and last week I was working on models and doing everything so that shading would look good from all angles. That's great. The shading's done. And in fact, it's way, way faster too and a lot more memory efficient. So I'm really excited how I improved all that. And also I shaved off like a good another second off the load time out of three whole seconds, which is um, again, like just something really, really great for just everyday development, being able to develop faster. Um, and uh, that was mostly, uh, actually one of the, one stupid thing I was doing um, was I was loading, um, I was looping over ev all the possible entities, like 65,000 entities and checking which entity ID would be the next one to, like whenever I, an entity was being created, it would do that. Um, it would loop over all 65,000 entities. It was just really stupid. So um, that is just, that was an easy half second off the load to make that more efficient. Um, but what I'm working on now, um, I haven't finished any of this, but um, you can see that the shadows are looking better already. See how they're nice and soft and um, it's like halfway soft and they're they're a little bit darker than they used to be and they're just they just seem to be a little bit more accurate um, but there's one issue and that you can see it right there um, when so when I stand right let's see let's try and get this guy to stop moving around here we go there um, what happened was that the sky bot triggered my entity to repaint because the skybot is animating its voxels more often than the player right now I've disabled all the animation for the player so it, once he sets to a certain frame he's done um, but the skybot is being animated every time so what happens is he, is he erases voxels causes all entities within that blue box for the skybot to be repainted and then he paints himself so um, what's happening is that it's triggering the player to repaint his entities or his entity, but it's not tr it's not triggering a repaint of the shadow because the shadow is stuck. The shadow is sort of implemented in a way right now where it's not being applied to the model. So there's no really there's no way that the render system can re even remember what's going on with the shadows at all. They're all within the voxel engine rather than being within the render system. So what I've got to do is make it so that when a shadow is cast it actually goes to the render system it actually goes into the the model that the the player is being rendered like what's it's called the paint model so the, basically it, whatever model was exactly painted the exact voxels that were painted for that uh for that player that tick at that particular instance right that needs to be basically when it, when a shadow is cast it needs to add to the model so it can remember which voxels it needs to erase, which voxels it needs to paint, and that will also be efficient because it'll go in, uh, you won't need to recast some shadows when you're repainting an entity. So that's what I'll be working on next. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Lots of, uh, actually just really great progress being made and um, I'm really excited about, uh, really excited about this game right now. So anyways, thanks for watching.